What's up, everyone? It's your boy Norn Rad89 here, bringing you another rad movie review. And today we're going to be talking about Snake Eyes. I caught it yesterday, slept on it overnight, just so I could kind of really nail down my vibes for it, positives and negatives, and all that kind of stuff. So let's get down to talking about this film. This is going to be a non-spoiler review. Roll it. So Snake Eyes is the new G.I. Joe origin film for the Snake Eyes character. And uh, man, this this is kind of one that I was I had high hopes for this one, but not really high expectations. So we're going to get the negatives out of the way first just to get them out of the way. So right off the bat, this is a prime example of all the things wrong with like the big budget releases over here in the United States. Like, oh man, this is just one of those films that's kind of like a kind of be mediocre kind of story dressed up with a lot of cool like, you know, well, the way it looks and like, oh my God, we got these graphics and like all these awesome trailers and all this setup and like, you know, promotional stuff for it. And it's just like, oh man, like it's just not that good and then it gets released it's just they spend millions of dollars on this film and this is just one of those films like i said it's just this is what's wrong with big budget releases over here in the states is like they're just becoming too cookie cutter and mediocre other things that are wrong with this film for me key things is the editing if you're expecting really awesome fight scenes or really beautiful looking fight choreography you're not going to be able to see it in this film because the editing is just god awful and what the choices they make and the best fight scenes that you want to look at we end up cutting to something else and looking at some other characters doing something else that you really don't care about so it's like ugh, the editors and like the creators for this film just they they had no inspiration or like I think direction when they're coming up with a lot of the fight choreography and fight scenes also our main actor Henry Golding he plays Snake Eyes and I feel like he is the least interesting character in his own movie so that is a problem too I really had more fun with a lot of the other characters that were in the film so that like I said we're mainly following his perspective so that's kind of a problem for me when the main character that we're following is to me the least interesting it just it doesn't put me in the film you know it takes me more out of the film than anything else also we have some really wonky CGI I'm not going to spoil too much but there's a scene that has to do with snakes and once that scene came like oh man it kind of really took me out of the movie the cgi was just freaking horrible and i was just like are you serious right now like people spend millions of dollars on this and that's what i mean it's just so cookie cutter and so b movie and there's a lot of stuff going on in this film there's betrayal there's you know a revenge plot there's like a macguffin story with like a jewel like a thievery type theft story like oh my god clans warring each other ninja clans warring against each other and by the time we got to that third act, I feel like I didn't even give a shit. Like, it just didn't hold any weight to it. And that, like, you know what I mean? It just didn't have the, what's the word I want to say? It didn't have, like, any, like, at the core of it, it just didn't have any heart. It just rang hollow. And that's the problem with this film. All those B-mediocre films that are just dressed up to be these big-budget films, blockbuster hits, and they really aren't anything special that much at all. But there are some things that I did enjoy about this film, so let's get down to talking about the positives of this movie. <laughs> And for me, as I said in my negatives, I did like some of the other characters around Henry Golding better, like Andrew Koji and like Samara Weaving. I think a lot of the other actors and actresses did a lot better job and were more interesting, intriguing characters that I wanted to spend more time with. But instead, we had to follow the Snake Eyes character. To me, like I said, was the least interesting character in the whole entire film. Also, I do like the aesthetic. I think the film, they did nail down a certain look for the film, and I really do like the look, the way the clothes look, the settings, all the like the areas and all that kind of stuff. It does have a certain vibe to it, and I did like that. I just wish we had, you know, better editors, and like I said, better just fight choreography like scenes where we actually got to see these beautiful, you know, sets and beautiful fighting that these people put the time and effort into learning. And it did have a good, very fast pace. It doesn't. It didn't feel like it was dragging too long or anything. Like it just. I just didn't feel like I cared about the film or what was going on in it. But it doesn't feel like it drags at all. It has a very fast pace, and it's not going to demand you like sitting on the couch or sitting in the theater like that long. You know what I mean? It'll fly by for sure. 
So overall, in my book for the rad rating, Snake Eyes is going to get a 4 out of 10. This is definitely a film that I would recommend you just wait for. Don't don't waste your money. Don't go to the theaters to see this. Just wait for it like, to be free on a streaming service or something. You know, It's just, oh, man, it just I had high hopes for this film, but not high expectations. I didn't expect it to be good, but I was hoping for a really solid G.I. Joe origin film story. But, you know, the trailer's... They just had me a little, like, they had me interested, but I was still a little skeptic, and then when I saw it, it just, it confirmed all the things I knew that was going to be wrong with the film once I saw the trailers. Thanks for sticking around with me all for another rad movie review. Don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the content that I put out. It definitely helps out the channel. Definitely, like I said, check out my playlist. I got some other stuff. I do rad movie reviews, rankings, and all different kinds of videos, so feel free to breeze through and check out my content. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.